<laughs> no wind. What time is it? It's. Could have been in the 30 minutes. 11:36. Look at this wind. Crazy wind. Really. You want to go with carnitas and tortas ahogadas? That sounds kind of good. We're going to drive by the event right now. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. It sounds windy, but the trees aren't moving too much. So it doesn't well, seem no that windy. Well, they trees. have the palm trees. They're not even swinging that much though. Okay, I'll show you guys in a bit. You guys, we're entering actual Vegas now. We were in where? The old Vegas? Well, the other one was actual Vegas. This is like the new area. This is the new Vegas. The new, like, hotels and stuff. Like you can see all the emo kids walking by. They have really cute outfits on. You could tell who was going to the concert. They're just all out now. Oh, look at all the black. Dang. It's like the black parade out here. <laughs> <laughs> so many black makes me happy. I know, it's actually really cute. So many emo kids out in the wild. I think it's right here after this uh, intersection. It's gonna be to our right. Yeah, it's right here. It's right here. Fuck. It's right here. Oh my, no, is it? That's it? That's it right there. Look at those stages. Everybody's just staying outside. It was the festival right here. I feel weird with my camera. They could see me. They could totally see me. Your truck is weird to film in because you got this dark part and then this thingy. My hotel is dusty. <laughs> I'm gonna put the clothes on. Cassie, I'll show you, It'd be cool if we were just like walking around and we see the people in the van just like out, I hanging out. Like. You don't know what they look like? I don't Same. know what people in the van look like. <laughs> I just listen to the music. I'm not obsessed with jazz. That girl has an art. How do you like, say alter you? That. Oh, okay, that. okay. Because yeah, I saw her. My bad. Truck's super dirty. Well, these, these, these straws were like the disposable ones. But, and, yeah. They leave residue on your teeth or something like that. Oh, look, mm. they have something. I don't remember what I saw. Oh, look, she's wearing a black parade jacket. Where? Oh, she girl. looks cute. She's all sad. <laughs> Everyone said, okay, Gobi, let's get a It'd good view. It'd be perfect view. if it started raining. Why would it be perfect? It'd be like the best. Okay, okay. okay. So this is where we're gonna be at. Oh, the stages are pretty cool. We're all set up and shit. We could literally stand out here and listen to the music. Oh, look, here's the crowd. Dang. This is the gates to enter right here. Show canceled. Damn, I didn't even get it on camera. <laughs> Show, Show canceled. canceled right there. Show canceled. Fuck. Hey. Okay. Sure. Okay. That circus are good right there. Oh uh, yeah, we're really upset. We spent a lot much? of money. A lot of money to get here, and we're only gonna be refunded for the tickets. But not for the hotel. Or not the for gas, the hotel. Right? Not for the gas. Not for the missed days of work. Not for convincing my parents to let me come on this trip. Um. Oh my God. There's a lot of people here. Hold on. What are these people doing? They're just hanging out, being sad. I bet a lot of these people had to fly in. And they're not going to be refunded those plane tickets. We were about to fly in. Yeah, we didn't want to drive over here, so we, but we drove. Um, yeah, so the show is canceled. We're going to get a refund in, like we, within 30 days. Uh, it kind of sucks because it's the first day of the festival. And bad start. Yeah, bad start. It kind of puts a bad image on them. Like, I don't know people who are here for tomorrow if they're <coughs> even gonna show up. <clears throat> I don't know. I just have weird mixed feelings. I'm really sad. Let's just say that. I'm really, really sad. I've seen girls crying, like walking down the street and crying. My boyfriend's really upset, but he's okay now. Huh. We got Starbucks. Um. We're gonna go walk around and I'll film. Let's, go to, let's go to Circus Let's, Circus. let's go look at the clowns. It's scary. I guess everything is like clown themed in there. 
so creepy. The map has a little circus thing. That's gross. Um, oh yeah, it's the first day and it sucks because I remember when I got these tickets, they had just put out the post that it was happening. Like everyone was kind of skeptical thinking that it was a scam, but... No, I really think it's a scam. Yeah, now it really does seem like a scam, but the reason why I still bought the tickets was because the bands were reposting it. So it seemed like, it seemed legit. And then this happens. And we're not even gonna be rescheduled for anything. We're just gonna get a refund. So we're not gonna see them. And then like, I guess you guys could say that we could go next year. There's so much people out here. That's crazy. Let me just... We could come back next year, although I certainly do not want to because I feel betrayed. And honestly, I like the bands for next year, but I was, you know, really excited for this year's. And we weren't rescheduled for anything. I mean, I understand that some of the bands probably already have other concerts that they have to, yeah, or events that they have to be there. That's why they can't reschedule or create a whole another day for us. But it's just, it's still sad. It's, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I understand that they can't do anything about it, but it's just it's heartbreaking. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense right now because I am very emotional. And if it doesn't, I'm really sorry. And I'll do a, I'll like clear up what I'm trying to say either through text up here or I'll just film another part. But for now, just know that we're really mad. The wind isn't even that bad. Everyone's really upset. I was thinking maybe it'd be bad because you're up there in the stages and they're tall and stuff and things can knock over and it's dangerous when you have a big crowd maybe, you know. Yeah, I guess. Or maybe, you know, they're gonna have tents out there and stuff like that. Yeah, they can start flying. They're gonna start flying away, hit people with lawsuits. Yeah. If anything, they're just avoiding lawsuits. Yeah. I mean, I mean they're still gonna get lawsuits. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. It's a little bit later now. It's 3.13 and the wind started to pick up a lot. So, I get it. I get why they canceled it. Um, But one thing that's really annoying is we were about to go to one of the little sideshows that some of the groups were posting about. If you were following the bands, then you would see it on their story, obviously. So we were really excited we were going to go. We're actually going right now, but the When We Were Young Festival decided to repost it on their story. Like if they're throwing it or something, which I think is really dumb. So you guys can see. Let's go. The trash took right there. Um, yeah, it was Bring Me The Horizon and he mentioned that they might they might be doing something to keep posted to not leave Vegas, so. And then Hawthorne Heights and Red Jumps Apparatus with a few other guys, they also did their own little thing at the Strat, which is where we're going right now. And the All-American Rejects also are gonna do something like at nine. And me and my boyfriend, me and my boyfriend had seen all these already and we were gonna go to them, right? But it just kinda, it makes me mad that they reposted it like you guys have nothing to do with them like yeah you were gonna host them at your little concert but i don't know it feels like they're taking the credit for it it's like yeah we messed up but look at the bands that actually care about the fans are having something for you guys and we're gonna post it on our page because we're taking the credit i don't know I don't, I'm, maybe i'm just upset but i just think it's a little it's a little weird Yeah, I'm right next to a bus. I feel like they're gonna be watching me, so I'm gonna stop talking now. Bye. That's where we're going, guys. I don't know if it's gonna be at the top or somewhere in the bottom, but that's where we're going. <laughs> oh, you guys wanna see it? That's the where. What is it? The one we were young festival that's back there. Be at. That's where it was gonna be at. His windows are kind of tinted, so you're not going to be able to see. Oh no, you could see. All of that right there. What a waste. What a waste. So you're going to play on Monday too, right? Mm, I think they're only playing Sunday, Sunday and then Monday and next, next Saturday. Week. But it just upsets me because everyone who bought tickets today were the people that bought the tickets right when it was announced. Like They had to put out more shows after our day got sold out. So it just, I don't know, it just really bothers me. They should have canceled tomorrow, huh? They should just cancel the whole thing. Just cancel the whole thing. They should have canceled Sunday. If you move for Sunday, move everyone back. Yeah. You know, or cancel Monday. I mean, and move everyone back two days. 
What if Samantha, if they tell us, oh yeah, come next week for free. For free? You're gonna pay for my hotel? Fuck, I'll pay for next week. I meant not you, I meant them. Are they gonna pay for my hotel? Are they gonna pay for my gas that I wasted on the trip over here? I mean, that you wasted because he drove here. Well, fuck, if if it's free, like if they give you the full refund, Samantha, right? And they're like, okay, here's another free day though, and you get the refund. I'm coming. You coming? I mean, I guess, but I'm still kind of upset with them. We'll get a better hotel. I feel heartbroken. We'll get a better hotel. I feel betrayed. Oh, so yeah. Look at these right here, Luke. You guys, let's, ta- let's talk about our hotel. <laughs> all right, let me explain a little bit, all right? All right. So, uh, for Friday, it was uh, a okay price, right? Right here. I was looking at the strat. This is the one I was looking at right here. Right there. We wouldn't see. We could have walked there. And for Friday, it was 180, right? For Friday night. For Saturday night, it was 499. Because it was Saturday night. It would skyrocket from one day to another. Just because that was the day of the event. Oh, look at that guy's sweater. Oh, dang, that's cute. Yeah, because that was going to be the day of the event. And I saw it too when I was looking at the, when, we were, when we were young news on the on the Googles. Like, there were some articles about the local news here talking about how the prices of hotels are skyrocketing because of the upcoming festival. Yeah. So the festival ruined the economy. I'm just going to ruin the economy. But. So, um, we had bought these tickets obviously when they were first announced like i said like over a year like ago. we got it the day that it was announced i got it that day somehow i was having a heart attack the day that i got it and now i'm having a heart attack now because we're being refunded for the tickets and not being able to watch the show anyways yeah so we had a whole like year and a half to find a hotel but we waited we put it off so long and we booked a hotel like two days ago two days ago and it was it's like a 40 minute drive from vegas which isn't like that bad and because we live like five hours away yeah so we're like whatever 40 minute drive compared like the price where we booked the hotel was way cheaper than the ones that were here guys the hotels here range from like 1200 to like 5000 and up Some it was over crazy a thousand. it was crazy how expensive the hotels were so when we found that one that's like a 40 minute drive from here it was around like 500 for two nights and no, i was 222 for each night yeah so like it, it's still pretty expensive but it was better it was a better price than what we could get here in vegas so that's why we booked it and we're staying at the like whiskey pizza or something oh that hotel is mm, i don't know it's it's fun it's like an adventure right because it looks like we went back in time like we back we went back to 70s vegas which is kind of cool it just it's really smelly in there. I mean, every casino here smells like cigarettes, but that one smells extra. It smells extra, extra gnarly. So, yeah, we're staying there. Um, it's okay. If you guys want, I'll give you a little room tour when we get back there. Can you stop? But it's definitely not the best place we could have stayed at. But it, it it was better than staying than staying at a. <laughs> A hotel that's over a thousand dollars for two nights. I told you, Dad. Wait, Wait, let me get, let me show you guys the strat. Oh. Told my dad what? I told you, Dad. Yeah, we're not gonna pay thousand dollars, but we're gonna pay six hundred dollars. Oh, six hundred dollars! He's on my, I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, okay. And then I'm like, yeah, it's only forty minutes away. Forty minutes away. Six hundred dollars. I'm like, no. I think I'll put my hair down. I had put it up because the winds did get pretty bad. They, they just started getting bad right now. Right now it's 3.35 and we I feel like this has been... We could have been, been done watching the beds we wanted to watch already. Yeah. Um, the winds... Oh my god, it's so packed. The public parking is closed? That's where we were going. Look, the parking is closed, babe. Guys, that's where we're going. It's full of people. This is where we were going to park. That's what... Oh my god, it zoomed in. <laughs> that's what happens when you come in a lifted truck can't go in a parking garage because you're gonna scrape the top. Dang, there's a lot it's of people in there. in there. There's a lot of people. I feel like over 80% of the people that we've seen here in Vegas were going to the concert. You could just tell by the way they that they're dressed. They they might have dyed Fish hair. net stockings. Everyone looks beautiful, by the way. They all look so nice. And you could just tell, like, almost everyone that's here in Vegas right now was planning on going to the festival. So we're just stuck here. And I'm very disappointed, but excited that we're going to this concert. Still upset that the Instagram page for when we were young reposted all of their stories because it just feels like they're taking like credit for it, even though they had nothing to do with it. 
Um, but yeah, we're still waiting on Bring Me The Horizon to post something, but they haven't. So we're gonna go to this one for now and get some live music. Get some show. Yeah, my hair's full of dirt. It just started getting windy like about an hour ago, but I feel like it died down. What is look, it? We need to look for the strap parking lot. There's parking right here. People are look pay pay by oh. plate. Oh, no car behind. No, there's no car behind you. What do we do? While we were here, we just walked around a lot, <laughs> looking for somewhere to eat, and we just ended up ended up going to Canes because you, you can't go wrong with Canes. Those are delicious, and we haven't had Canes in a while, so that sauce. It hit different. Yeah, I started being hella healthy. <laughs> I lost 20 pounds and stopped eating canes. <laughs> yeah, guys, cut out canes and you'll lose 20 pounds. According to him. I did. Now this is gonna be. What time is it? We should go. Everyone's lined Everyone's up already. Lined. They're not lined up. There's nowhere they're lined up. It's like. In the oh, yeah, lobby. it's a free show. Oh, my God. It's a free show. So we'll see you there. Oh, if I can, I'll record on my phone because I don't want to be whipping out the camera. <clears throat> Yeah. Wait, let's just let's just check to see if they posted anything on Was Instagram. Was it be? You think it'll be cold up there? Not in there, but on the way there, yeah. Do you have a brush? My brush is in my suitcase. Oh, mine's in my suitcase too. It's fine then. Okay. Uh, I have to pee. Even if let's pee in the carpet outlet right here. No gimmicks. No inflated prices. Lowest total price. Let's you go buy that? a mattress. No gimmicks, no oh wait, gimmicks. go buy a carpet. Jeez, might only as well make it. Oh. Oh. let's go. People are running over there. Look, they're running over there literally. Okay, we're gonna go guys. I'll see you in a bit. My Bye. Clock says Bye. For some reason I thought it was seven. American Rejects are going to be playing. Hopefully they're not at capacity. It's a 4 to from the strat, so... We're like halfway. We're like halfway. I gotta pee. Oh. Watch out, Willis. Watch out, Willis. I got you. That you one's know, pretty scary. We're probably going to act like a big parachute and fly away together. <laughs> okay. It'll be worse. Yeah. Um, you guys see the strat? At capacity, not letting us in. Walking to some restaurant that they're playing at. Hopefully... Hopefully we get a spot there. They play at 9 and it's, I think, what time is it? It's barely going to be 4, so we're going to get there super early. I have to go find a bathroom because I have to pee really bad. So, I'll update you guys in a little bit. This is the line around the building. They're gonna be maxed out. We're not gonna make it in. It's crazy. It's so windy. Hey guys, we're waiting in line right now. My makeup looks nasty. So we're in line for an All American Rejects sideshow because we couldn't make it to the strat. You guys saw that. Um, I think the capacity here is about 300, maybe 350. Where we're at in line, we're around the 300 mark. Hopefully it's 350. If it's 350, we're in for sure, but if not, then we'll probably have to go. It's super windy. It seems like it might rain because I've been hearing thunder, but I haven't seen any water or anything. Um, what else? There's a rumor going around in the line that they're going to start handing out wristbands. So whoever gets a wristband is in for sure, but if we don't, then we're out. So we're going to wait to see if we get a wristband, and if not, we're going to go and, I don't know, go back to the hotel or wait around Vegas to see if um, Bring Me the Horizon decides to put out a show. They haven't said anything since their last post, so um, not sure, but we're going to wait and see if we get a wristband. Alright, I'll update you guys in a bit. So in line, it started raining. I don't have a sweater.
All right, guys, it's a little bit later. It's 7.50. Um, we didn't get into any of the shows. So we tried to go to the one at the Strat with Hawthorne Heights. And before we even got close to it, there was a bunch of people walking back and they were telling us that they were at capacity and they weren't letting anyone in. So we decided to go over to the All-American All Rejects place. And we waited in line for about two hours or more, I don't even remember. And right when they decided to hand out wristbands to see if, or, you know, to like count the number of people that were going to be able to fit in the venue, I think um, capacity was 20 people ahead of us. So we were almost there. We didn't leave because we were so close that we thought we could maybe make it, but it, it stopped like 20 people ahead of us. So we had to leave. Um... Right now we're just sitting outside of a place called what? Something birria, birria tacos and my boyfriend and guy got and guy. My boyfriend and I got two how do you say it? Birria tacos. No no no, it wasn't a birria taco. Oh, quesabirria. Quesabirria. We got two quesabirrias each. I only ate one. I couldn't really finish it. There was a lot of stuff in there. It was really good though. Definitely definitely recommend coming. It's called where is the sign? Do you see a sign, babe? Mm, nope. It's called six oh four. I don't know. I'll look at it. TJ Biria. Biria. She didn't even give me a receipt, so I can't tell you guys the name, but if we drive by the sign right now, I'll tell you guys. I got sangria right here. This is non-alcoholic. If you guys ever want to try it, it's really good. Um, I don't know what we're going to do now. We're kind of debating going back to the hotel. The hotel's like a 40-minute drive, and we don't know what to do. We might go to a nightclub and just walk around somewhere, but they're expensive. It's like $100 at the entrance per person, so I don't know if we're going to do that. If I have cilantro in my teeth, I'm sorry. It finally, finally, finally started to get actually windy enough that I understand why they would cancel the event. But it didn't start getting windy until like two hours ago. Or not even two hours ago, it was just like recently. Right when the sun went down, that's when the wind started to pick up. And before that, the, the wind wasn't a big deal like at all. There was just a few gusts of winds here and there where like honestly just like squint and look away but it wasn't enough to cancel the event and i don't know a group but i know a group on instagram posted like a video of them walking in the wind acting like it's all dramatic and it honestly wasn't even that bad i think maybe three times at most i felt like a big gust of wind but three and that's it and now that it, it is like nighttime it does feel a lot windier so I don't know, I just kind of wish that they would have let us in and then once the wind started to pick up, kind of just tell people that the event was closing due to the wind and I don't know, give us some concert, but we got none. So yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're both really disappointed and sad right now, so we're gonna try to find something to do and okay, I'll see you guys in a bit and I'll update you guys on what we're doing because I don't know what we're doing. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, it's voiceover me. I didn't film the rest of the night, so I'm just gonna tell you guys what we did. Uh, so after the last clip, we decided to go back to the hotel and hang out in the casino there for a bit. On our way there, we stopped to get gas at this really cool gas station. It was huge and we explored it for a bit. They had like cars on display, a big like candy section. It was pretty cool and honestly, that was probably the best time that we had in Vegas, was there at that gas station. So yeah, we just bought some snacks, we put gas, and then we drove back to the hotel. So yeah, we got back to good old Whiskey Pete's around 10, and we hung out in the casino for a bit. So earlier I had said that I would give you guys a room tour, but I completely forgot, so I'm just gonna show you guys some pics from Google here. This is pretty much what our room looked like. Uh, minus those pretty flowers in that view. Uh, it looks good in pictures guys, but once you're there, it's it's a different story. <laughs> so for the next day, we had breakfast at Carl's Jr. I have the map here and Whiskey Pete is on this side and Carl's Jr. is on the other side. So we just drove over, although I know they have like a monorail that takes you from Whiskey Pete's to the other casino there. But we just drove over and we had Carl's Jr. And after that, we went into this giant outlet store it was abandoned guys well not exactly there was like three stores there it was a thrift store a ralph lauren michael kors and a levi's and that was it and everything else was empty empty and i'm pretty sure that at some point they were using it as an art exhibition because they had giant murals all murals all over the store which i'll show you guys in the next clip it was 
it was actually really amazing if you guys have a chance to go i definitely recommend checking it out but <laughs> my boyfriend and i were adamant that the when we were young festival could have been held there in theory it sounds great but realistically it would have been a big safety hazard so here's the clips or i don't know the name of the small but it's um it's a prism outlets pri prism outlets Right there. It's right at the border of California and Nevada. It's called Prim where we're at where we're at. I think whoa, it goes all the way around. Oh dang. Dang. This is big. Look at the ceilings, Samantha. <laughs> they are really Dude, tall. Ceiling. They could have had the concert in here. <laughs> no, at least. They literally could have the they, you, they could have. They could have made different yeah. little spots. It would have been really loud, but Hell yeah, oh look, that's re that's really cool. They could have put a stage right there. Yeah, they could have put people hanging out if they were climbing and shit. That would have been so they cool. They could have <laughs> <laughs> No, like this could have been like a stage right here. Is that an in and out? Look, those tiles are in and out tiles. You guys see it it's over there? Yeah, that looks like an in and out. Or maybe it's just gonna be like a burger place trying to imitate. Maybe it looks like a Five Guys. Oh, that does like Five Guys ish. Oh, really? That is really scary. Sheesh. I can't do any of now. I know, when we got close. You're right, if they would have had the concert here, it would have yeah, been so this fun. Was like buffet, right? This was fire, fire, yeah. The tiles on that. Put the buffet stand right there, guys. If you guys are gonna plan a festival in Nevada, I recommend having Indoors, it here. You don't got wind in here, you got weather in here. I Big mean, it's building. gonna be super loud, super loud, but it's so cool. Like, or they could have oh, made it like the VIP little... areas, the merch and shit, the places where the bands hang out, alcohol, <laughs> the, the bars, know, the, all the bars, the alcohol. It's gonna be this sick. They could they like have the? Did you say VIP rooms? Yeah, the VIP, the VIP rooms. The VIP rooms. And the whole place is air conditioned. And it smells really clean in here. It, does it smells smell like clean. It smells like chemicals. That that's the clean. It smells like. Wait, wait. I think this was a art exhibition. We imagine a clown just started chasing us. Like we just see someone. Oh, that'd be so creepy. That would be kind of sick. <laughs> Wanna get some thirty-year-old gummies? Awesome. I know. I don't even oh, know which way we came in through. There's oh casinos up there. Casinos. Let's go to the casino. Um, I have flowy pants. I don't want to go through those. I'll go up the stairs. God, it's so cute. What the heck? Oh, there's, oh a there's a car. We thought this one was at the the place we were staying at. This is the one you said that he took out to the back and just shot it. This is a Bonnie and Clyde death car. What is this? Oh, certificate of authenticity. Ew. Mm -hmm. So the shirt he died in. Bonnie and Clyde carried on this impressive firepower in their car wherever they went. And it's safe to say the space was fairly crowded, since they lived for nearly two years in the car. We got Starbucks and Barstow, it's hella boof. <laughs> this is supposed to be with like white vanilla sweet cream or whatever, or vanilla sweet cream. It's like hella dark and uh, they made me throw up. I took damage and it almost made me throw up. I got sick. And then mine is a. Uh, Diabetes.com. Yeah, it was super sweet. Still drinking it though. We're gonna go to a. Antique store. An antique uh, store. Train pass, so we gotta wait for the train to pass. But I'm still gonna go forward because there's a doobie behind me and I don't wanna be a doobie. 
douchebag. Oh, we're Art. listening to a podcast, guys. It's really good. It's about the Pen Pen M Flight 103. It's so good. I went the wrong way. <laughs> I was going the wrong way. It, it's so good. I was going the wrong way. I was like, oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> where are we? I don't even know where we're at. We're in Boron. I think it's called Boron. On the way to San Bernardino, or this is San Bernardino County. I don't know. If it's I don't even know. Where but look at that, Samantha. Look, what? they're selling like stuff, like, like hot stuff. rolls. What is that? It's like ceramics. There you go. See, ceramics. look it. I saw, I have the when we were young app, and they stay sending me notifications. Oh, yeah, we're having fun over here. You guys. What are do they say? But we're having fun. Register your device. Whatever. They've been sending like notifications all day. I have the app, by the way. Uh, we're not going, so sad that's my grandma and grandpa in the back if you guys are wondering okay like you see they have pottery there that's what it is like ceramics and pottery and shit it's called park you know pottery coyotes turtles donkeys pottery that looks like something that would happen in mexico on the side of the road yeah oh do you know when you're not from terribles like and going in into the u.s you know how they have walking around with all those potteries did mm -hmm. you ever buy any of that i think the only thing we bought was like blankets Blankets? Oh, yeah. I think we bought blankets on time too. They have blankets there. We're almost home, guys. Express tired. We're just gonna go check out this antique store. Cause we're trying to make the most out of this. Yeah, this we terrible at the weekend. Biggest gas station in California. It was this tiny. Pilot is well, that's what it was advertised this in pilot, the signs. Pilot, no, not flying jays. They said pilot jays. Pilot jays. Pilot oh. in it, flying jays. That's I look another one. Funny. Thanks. Um, yeah, there was a, there's a gas station that was bigger in Nevada. What is he doing over here? Who is he's he going to, up? He's going to go put gas at, at, at Pilot because it's cheaper. Oh, yeah, he's going to go put gas at Pilot. He has to go to a whole truck stop because it doesn't fit in a regular gas station. That Chevron over there is empty. You think it's closed? Well, it's probably closed, yeah. It's not closed. It's closed. Look, the doors look abandoned. Oh. Right, it looks abandoned in there. But the, the Chevron over here is full. You know how you're at old gas stations? You know, you know how you know you're at old gas stations when they have a little shop next to it to, to fix your car? You know, like the mechanic shop? Mm hmm This light is taking forever. It looks closed, babe. It's green. It says available for ground lease. Is it this right here or is this? I thought it was that one. That one says antiques. But it looks... No, but it says available. Oh. With drive throughs four pads with drive throughs talking about these right here. This, this is probably closed. Sure it's open. Oh, Look it's at that. They have something right there at the door. This one says closed. Closed. Sad. Yeah, well, maybe they just closed some days. Oh, yeah. I forgot to sun it's a Sunday today. These signs are worth a lot of money. These signs? The, the Texaco one? Any sign of these old oil Vintage signs? Vintage signs? Yeah, because I saw it in the... And one of the shows we like. Look, like that one says mobile gas. I know what you That's pretty. Automotive service, watch and polish. Okay, guys, no antique shop. Antique store. <laughs> Back on the freeway. Back on the freeway, we go. We're gonna keep listening to this podcast.